For all y'all animation enthusiasts that also happen to enjoy the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil, the people behind Procreate have released an app that expands upon its illustration features and introduces a whole new world of possibilities. So, how does it hold up? Procreate Dreams is an app primarily designed to support frame-by-frame -frame animation, with some added features that allow you to automate part of the process. Its design philosophy is very similar to that of Procreate. It's keeping the interface quite minimal in order to give you as much real estate to paint on as possible. And for an animation app, it's on the more affordable side as it will only cost you $19.99 US dollars. When compared to most of what's on the market, it's honestly quite the good deal. This app, however, is only available on iOS devices and is mostly optimized for the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. Alright, with that out of the way, let's talk about what it can do. As stated, the Procreate Dreams interface is quite minimal. It's composed of three main parts. The theater is where you create, open, and share your movie files. Standard stuff. Then you get your timeline where you navigate through your footage, add and edit keyframes, among other features that will be discussed later. And lastly, the stage, which is the workspace where you draw and playback as you edit your animations. The program can also take another mode, which is the draw and paint mode, where the interface turns into an almost carbon copy of the Procreate interface, a single bar on top with brushes, smudger, eraser, layers, and colors on the right, and other menu features on the left. Next to these, it also includes one extra feature, which is the flipbook. It serves as a mini timeline that allows you to navigate through your frames and draw on them with onion skin as an added option. You can simply slide to navigate through your frames and hold the center frame to show more frame options. That was a lot of frame. On paper, the tools are quite simple to understand. So let's discuss how the program works with a bit more depth. The process of animating in Procreate Dreams is not too dissimilar from animating in any other art program. The existence of two display modes, however, and the addition of the flipbook emphasizes the idea that it is more tailored towards frame by frame animation. It uses a similar brush engine to that of Procreate, so the drawing experience in the program is quite similar and honestly very satisfying. That being said, it does, as of the time of recording this, lack in brush customizability. You can import your Procreate brushes into Procreate Dreams, but it's still an extra step to be taken even though doing so is actually pretty simple. It can still prove to be an inconvenience to import every time you want to modify a specific brush. While we are in the realm of lacking, there is no lasso selection like tool for you to transform individual sections. So animating in this program can be rather counterintuitive to what you might be used to. You can still bulk edit entire groups of content, which is a big plus. On a brighter note, there are automated actions you can do in this program, such as automatic easing when trying to slide an object across the screen. Uh, you can even pre-record custom motions and effects using touch and drag, which can save you a lot of keyframe management. It can also be used for rotoscoping or adding hand animated effects into recorded footage as you can directly import and edit videos within it. The addition of multiple layers of sound effects and audio is also very simple and you won't need to go through other programs for it. Something that is worth noting is that the audio will adjust into the speed you are scrubbing through your timeline. This feature can help you better match the timing of your animations or doing things like lip syncing and dialogue in a much smoother manner. One more feature that you might find quite interesting that you have access to in Procreate Dreams is animating titles and writing in general, as it provides topography and lettering options that can be animated with the aforementioned live motions and with the help of filters. You may also set your scenes by drawing beyond your screen area to make a panning shot a lot smoother and more believable as well, as is standard for animation software nowadays anyway. And all of the above is rendered even more interactive with the help of gesture shortcuts that allow you you to both navigate your drawing area as well as your timeline. Whew, well that was a lot to cover, but how easy is the transition to procreate dreams? 
Well, to be completely honest, experiences here may vary. It is a very potent app and capable of creating many amazing pieces of animation, but you might struggle with getting used to it. Here's the deal. Animation apps in general are quite difficult to get used to, especially for beginners that are just starting out with this medium. Animation as a skill takes time to acquire, and for an absolute beginner, this isn't the easiest to master. The flipbook can be a very good way to ease into the program, but the overwhelming number of features has to be tackled eventually. The interface being very minimalistic plays both in its favor and hinders it slightly, as it can again help you ease into learning this program, but a lot of key features are hidden with no real way to learn about them other than to mess around and to find out, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's still an investment of your time. The last point I would like to bring up in this section, which is actually a positive one, if you are a veteran with the original Procreate, especially if you are used to animating with it, you will find dreams to be <laughs> well, a dream come true, uh, because of how intuitive it would feel to make the transition, as they do feel quite similar. The specialization of dreams you will find to be very helpful. So, long story short, it can be counterintuitive to learn, but for the platform it's in and the price it runs for, it's more than worth it. So, before we conclude, let's round up with some pros and cons and some closing thoughts. The first thing that Procreate Dreams has going for it is the price point. 20 USD is very affordable for an animation app, and it's a high quality one at that. The fact that it's on a portable device as well does it a lot of favors, as you can simply boot it up on your couch, on the go, or anywhere you feel like and just start working away. Stylizing your work is also very simple and achievable here. You can put more emphasis on the artistry and your own individual touch thanks to the versatility of its brush engine. And lastly, there are many steps that you can automatize during the animation process. After the initial learning curve, animating in this app will become much smoother. Speaking of learning curve, this is one of the things that you should keep in mind as we keep emphasizing as it can be quite steep. It is also worth noting that the app is made to primarily be a frame by frame animation app, meaning that if you are more into puppet animation, despite some nice mass editing options, it doesn't support rigs and skeletal movement. There is probably a way you can puppet animate through groups and hierarchy, but that's neither here nor there, and there is probably better options for it anyway. That being said, whether you are a beginner or a seasoned veteran looking for a more portable option, we genuinely believe that Procreate Dreams has something for everybody. The developers are very active, even responding to reviews and feedback, and are updating the app as it goes as well. We hope you enjoyed this dive into Procreate's delve to the realm of animation. Oh, that was a lot of water imagery. If you have any experience or thoughts that you would like to share with us, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you soon. Take care.